The emergence of complex life on land coincided with the formation of Pangaea, a supercontinent that connected all present-day continents. Around 180 million years ago, Pangaea began to break apart into two major fragments, one of which was Gondwana, a massive landmass composed of South America, Africa, India, Antarctica, and Australia. These regions were once covered by extensive prehistoric forests until they started to separate and move into their current locations. Australia, like South America and Antarctica, was initially isolated from other continents, resulting in the development of unique and unusual forms of life. Unlike the other continents, however, Australia remained isolated and unchanged due to its separation from the others. When humans arrived in Australia approximately 50,000 to 65,000 years ago, they discovered a land with an abundance of unfamiliar and dangerous creatures that were vastly different from those found anywhere else on Earth. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the most ferocious prehistoric animals in Australia. But before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. With that being said, let's begin. Diprotodon Diprotodon, meaning two forward teeth, is the largest known marsupial ever to have lived, along with many other members of a group of unusual species collectively called the Australian megafauna. It existed from approximately 1.6 million years ago until extinction some 46,000 years ago. The largest specimens were hippopotamus-sized, about 3 meters or 9.8 feet from nose to tail, standing 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet tall at the shoulder, and weighing about 2,800 kilograms or 6,200 pounds. They inhabited open forests, woodlands, and grasslands, possibly staying close to water and eating leaves, shrubs, and some grasses. Most modern researchers argue that the protodonts along with a wide range of other Australian megafauna, became extinct shortly after humans arrived in Australia about 50,000 years ago. Prosoptodon Prosoptodon was a genus of massive short-faced kangaroos that lived in Australia during the Pleistocene epoch. The largest known kangaroo to ever exist belonged to this genus, known as Prosoptodon galaya, and it stood approximately 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet tall and weighed around 232 kilograms, or 511 pounds. These kangaroos coexisted with modern species of kangaroos, but had a specialized diet of leaves from trees and shrubs. The genus existed until at least 50,000 years ago before becoming extinct, although there is some evidence that they may have survived as recently as 18,000 years ago. The reasons for their extinction are not entirely clear, but it could be due to climate changes during the Pleistocene or human hunting. Thylacolio Thylacolio carnifex, also known as the marsupial lion, is an extinct species of carnivorous marsupial mammal that lived in Australia from the early to the late Pleistocene. Individuals ranged up to around 75 centimeters or 30 inches high at the shoulder and about 150 centimeters or 59 inches from head to tail. Measurements taken from several specimens show they averaged 101 to 130 kilograms or 223 to 287 pounds in weight, and the largest weight was 127 to 164 kilograms or 282 to 362 pounds. This would make it comparable to female lions and female tigers in general size. The animal was extremely robust, with profoundly built jaws and very strong forelimbs. It possessed retractable claws, a unique trait among marsupials. This would have allowed the claws to remain sharp by protecting them from being worn down on hard surfaces. The claws were well suited to securing prey and climbing trees. The marsupial lion's limb proportions and muscle mass distribution indicate that, although it was a powerful animal, it was not a particularly fast runner. Paleontologists conjecture that it was an ambush predator, either sneaking up and then leaping upon its prey or dropping down on it from overhanging tree branches. Megalania Megalania is an extinct species of monitor lizard or guana that inhabited southern Australia during the Pleistocene epoch. They were part of the megafaunal assemblage that lived in Australia during that time. 
It is believed that they disappeared between 40,000 and 30,000 years ago. The first aboriginal settlers of Australia might have encountered them. Megalania was one of the largest predators of its time, reaching a maximum length of 7 meters, or 23 feet. It is similar to the Komodo dragon in that it most likely had a septic bite due to bacteria-infested saliva. Myelania The 2.5-meter long tortoise referred to is called Myelania, and it is believed to be an evolutionary throwback to the Ankylosaurus that went extinct 65 million years ago. This species had bony plates on its body, as well as horns on its head and a club-like tail. Myelania was one of the largest known non-marine turtles or tortoises, second only to the Galapagos tortoise. The last populations of Myelania died out about 2,000 years ago. It is thought that they were hunted to extinction by the Lapita people about 3,000 years ago, based on the discovery of bones at the bottom of a garbage midden at an archaeological site. Dromornis Dromornis was a genus of prehistoric birds that lived in Australia during the late Oligocene to the Pleistocene epochs. They were enormous, standing up to 3 meters or 10 feet tall and weighing up to half a ton. Although they look similar to giant emus, the Dromornis are more closely related to waterfowl. This genus had a long neck and stub-like wings, rendering it flightless. Its legs were powerful, but it is not believed to have been a fast runner. The bird's beak was large and immensely powerful, leading early researchers to believe that it was used to shear through tough plant stalks. However, recently others have argued that the size of the beak suggests that the bird was a carnivore, feeding on small animals such as lizards, frogs, and mammals. Palercestes Palercestes is an extinct genus of marsupial that was a herbivore and lived between 11.6 million years ago and 11,000 years ago, existed for around 11.59 million years. One species of this genus was almost as large as a horse, meaning approximately 2.5 meters or 8.2 feet in length and weighing around 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. This animal had four strong legs and the front legs had large claws, similar to those of a koala. It is believed that these claws were used to pull down leaves and strip bark from trees. The genus was named Palorchestes, meaning ancient leaper or dancer, as it is thought that it had an unusual and distinctive way of moving. Moa Though not technically from Australia, the Moa lived on the relatively close-by island nation of New Zealand. While there were 11 species of Moa, the largest, Dinornis, or terrible bird, was the island's equivalent of a giraffe. With no dedicated land predators, the moa developed in such a way as to thrive on the ground, going as far as to renounce their wings altogether. Even their plumage had devolved into a more primitive hair-like structure, offering it insulation while also being waterproof. With its eggs 100 times the size of a hen's, people soon enough acquired a taste for both of them, and the giant bird itself, and so much so that, in a mere one century after their arrival, the bird went extinct. It didn't even have time to develop a sensible fear of this new, two-legged predator. Moa remains have been found in old rubbish mounds all over the islands, which most likely fed the ever-increasing number of feral dogs brought there by people. These dogs, fire stick farming, as well as the people themselves, all drove these birds into the history books. They are a great example of how early man was a major contributing factor to the extinction of the planet's megafauna of the last ice age. Host's Eagle Since we've talked about New Zealand's largest herbivore, it's only fair to say a few words about its predator. Since there were no land predators to speak of, Moa's threat came from the sky, and that threat was Harpagornis moray, more commonly known as Host's Eagle. Though not the biggest flying bird to have ever lived, Host Eagle had a 10-foot wingspan, and, comparable to its size, it was extremely heavy. It also specialized in hunting the giant moa. The way it went about achieving this task is somewhat unexpected. While large birds are usually gliders, scouring the land for potential prey from way up in the air, while carried by the currents, Host Eagle relied more on maneuverability and speed. It's a bit hard to imagine that a 40-pound flying bird could take down a 550-pound creature, 
but it did so with relative ease. Given its small wingspan, relative to its weight, it is evident that this bird of prey was suited for forested areas and able to make tight turns. And with feet and claws as large as a modern-day tiger's, Haas Eagle would swoop down on a moa, grip its back, and break its spine, even before this gentle giant knew what hit it. Zaglossus Hackaday Zaglossus Hackaday was an extinct species of long-beaked echidna that lived in Western Australia during the Pleistocene. However, only a few bones have been discovered of this species. The animal was estimated to be around 1 meter or 3.3 feet long and weighed roughly 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. Interestingly, this species had longer and straighter legs compared to any modern echidnas. This feature is believed to have helped the animal move more easily through heavily wooded forests. There is also evidence to suggest that Zaglossus hecate was hunted by humans, as some of its fossils bear marks of incisions and burns. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.